that you're having a great week so far. My name is Kat. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am a dancer and choreographer living in Omaha. My specific style of movement that I create and perform is called modern and contemporary dance. I've been studying various forms and styles of movement for almost 25 years now. Currently, I am the co-director and founding member of TBD Dance Collective. We're a nonprofit modern and contemporary dance company here in Omaha. We create all kinds of really cool performances. We lead workshops for both dancers and non-dancers, and we collaborate with artists and musicians all the time to help us create these unique dance experiences in the community. So this week, I will be hosting the Movement Lab. During this Movement Lab, we will be talking about movement, we'll be exploring movement, we'll be creating movement, and we'll be expressing ourselves through movement. So during this movement lab, you won't need any additional materials or supplies or programs. You just need a space that you feel comfortable moving around in. It doesn't have to be a very big space, just something that, something that you can move around in even a little bit, and you need your body, that's it. What do I mean when I say movement? I am simply talking about moving your body. So I'm not focusing on any one style of dance in particular. Just because I come from a background of modern and contemporary dance does not mean that that's what you have to do during this lab. It, you could, but you definitely don't have to. If there's one style of dance that you lean towards, then definitely roll with that. But the kind of movement that I'm thinking about is a little bit more exploratory. So kind of like when you turn on a song and you just let yourself dance around, do whatever feels natural. Really, the movement that I'm talking about is whatever feels best to you, whatever feels most natural to you and most like you and um, you're able to express yourself with the most, do that. So that is what I mean by movement. Another big concept that I wanted to communicate with you all is that you do not have to be a trained or professional dancer to move your body or to create movement to a song that you like. If you've never taken a dance class before in your life, that doesn't matter. There are no rules for how you should move your body. You get to decide what works, what doesn't work, what you like, what you don't like, what you're comfortable with, what you're uncomfortable with. With In this movement lab, we're not concerned with moving perfectly or doing the right things. Um, this is really just about you and how you express yourself through movement and what you enjoy. So I wanna make that crystal clear that movement is for everyone. The last thing that I wanted to talk with you about is that movement is a form of self-expression. So in the same way that you're able to express yourself through the music that you create or any kind of art that you make, you're able to express yourself through movement. You can express parts of your identity or your style or how you're feeling about things. You can even communicate emotions through your movement. Think of just everyday body language. When we're excited about something, what do we do? Maybe we jump up and down, maybe we smile, maybe we put our hands in the air, maybe we move really fast. Um, and if we're nervous, maybe our body movement or our body language is a little more internal. Maybe we look down, maybe we cross our arms, we're a little bit more inward. We're already expressing ourselves every day through our body language. So when you apply that to movement, if you think about when you're just dancing or moving to a song that you like, you could move really big or you could move really fast or you could move really slow. You could have sharper movements or you could just do some simple gesture work. Each of these movement qualities or types of movement that you do communicate different things emotionally. Movement is very powerful in its ability to allow you to express yourself and to communicate things internally that you're feeling. Here are the special instructions for the Movement Lab. Have fun, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have an open mind about the process. It can be really nerve wracking sometimes to move our bodies and move our bodies in front of other people. So it's important that we create an environment that is safe 
and judgment free so that everyone feels comfortable sharing their ideas, expressing themselves, and being creative. We really want to make sure that we are not hard on ourselves, we're not judgmental, and we're not judgmental with the people that we're working with. We all want to have a space where we can move our bodies freely and be ourselves. Okay, so here's my challenge to you all to get you more prepared for the Movement Lab. So you should have access to a movement playlist that I made on YouTube. If you do not have access to that, please contact someone from Omaha Girls Rock and they will make sure that you have access to that playlist. So look through the playlist, pick one video that you gravitate towards and watch it all the way through. While you're watching that video, write down any observations you're having. That could be how the video makes you feel, how the movement makes you feel, what you think they're trying to communicate through the movement, what style of dance they're doing, any observations you have while watching the video, write them down. Okay, challenge number two, find a song that you love or that makes you wanna dance and try dancing continuously without stopping for the entire song. So let it play, don't stop moving your body from beginning to end. And while you're dancing or after you're done dancing, see if you can remember one dance move or one way that you moved your body that you loved and that felt the most like you or you found yourself doing it again and again. I can give you my example. Whenever I'm dancing, I find myself doing lots of hand gestures um, and particularly hand gestures like around my face. So I'm always doing some type of gestury hand stuff. It's kind of my go-to, it's kind of my favorite. So that's what I have to share with you. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope that you feel a little bit more prepared for the Movement Lab. I am so excited to work with you all and can't wait to see you in the Movement Lab. All right, bye.